Well, thanks for staying with us on Bazaar Morning Call. This morning, the SGX Nifty is indicating a green start and you have some big data coming through later in the evening. You have the IIP and CPI data in the Indian markets, CPI data in the US markets, and you have HCL Tech and Infosys that report their numbers. So lots to talk about. Our research team is here to help you prep for the day. First up, Mangalam is joining in. He has some stocks that are in the news. Mangalam, what are you tracking this morning? Well, I'm starting with Container Corp this morning because news reports suggest that, you know, the government is likely to invite expressions of interest for divestment this month and we'll get some uh, clarity on that. Of course, uh, you know, while this is positive news, remember yesterday towards dying hours of trade, we did get their volume growth number as well. It was a 5.2% volume growth year on year. There was a decline, uh, you know, quarter on quarter. Domestic volumes, while they grew about 24%, the exim volumes grew just about 0.6%. And that may put a lid on the gains that the stock may see today because Macquarie says that it indicates further market share loss for Container Corp. And divestment, while that will be a key trigger for the company going forward, they do have an underperformed rating on the counter with a 620 rupee stock uh, uh, share price target. We have Railtel as well. They won a couple of orders, 170 crore order coming in from the government of Puducherry and 123 crore order coming in from NMDC as well for the IT infra implementation. The third stock that I'm watching out for is Nika. And this is on account of a Bloomberg report which says that institutions are looking to, uh, you know, sell $26 million worth shares at about 148 rupees a piece, which is a discount to the current market price. But we don't know much details about this as uh, this is uh, the only line that we have from the Bloomberg report. All right, uh, Magalam, uh, thanks very much uh, for that. But more stocks with news flow. Sonal is standing by with that list. Sonal, hi, good morning. Good morning, Prashant. Let me start with Shiva Cement because the company has received consent to operate and this has come in from State Pollution Control Board in Odisha. And this is for starting a 0.66 tons per annum clinker and 9 megawatt waste heat recovery plant as well. So that stock remains in focus. We have DB Realty because the company and their wholly owned subsidy, they have executed settlement agreements with Reliance Commercial Finance Limited. So the company, that is DB Realty, has agreed to pay 185 crore rupees. That is as a full and file set final settlement to the lender and their wholly owned subs subsidiary has agreed to pay 214 crores as full and final settlement. Uh, this will be paid in tranches with the last uh, tranche to be paid by 31st March 2025. Stovecraft in focus because there is a resignation coming in from the Chief Executive Officer and whole time director, uh, Mr. Rajiv Nitin Mehta. IIFL Wealth will be in focus as well because they have a board meet which is on the 19th to consider declaration of fourth interim dividend for the financial year 22-23 to the equity shareholders and also they will be announcing stock split and a bonus together. Uh, PB Fintech also on our radar today because RBI has granted in principle approval for setting up the business of account aggregator to PB Financial Account Aggregators Private Limited. So that is a positive news for the company as well. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot for that, uh, Sonal. Well, let's hop across to Money.